in Nebraska, mm. you cannot get married if you have an STD. <laughs> what? Yes. American. That's personal. <laughs> right? Aren't there like HIPAA laws against that? In Switzerland, it is illegal to own just one guinea pig. Aww. They're considered to be companion animals, so you have to have at least two. I love that. I know. That's really cute. Go Switzerland. And what do they do? Like, they send, like, uh, little animal officers coming over to, to verify that there's two. A welfare check. Who oh, say can? So you can't pretend to be a witch, but you can be a real witch? Yeah. Down. No misogyny between the hours of all 24 in one day. Greetings, Earthlings. How are you? It sounds like, what's that character from uh, Emperor's New Groove? Oh, uh, 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 Yz- Gronk Yzma. Yeah, uh, yeah, she was played by uh, Eartha Kitt. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. The more you know. I love that. How anyway. <laughs> what a good movie. I haven't seen that one in a while. I know. Emperor's New Groove. We'll watch it later. Anyway, welcome to another installment and another flight of In Our Own World. Woo! The aliens go wild. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So, you know, we like talking about a variety of different things. And on the pod, personally, when we're researching and with the cool people that we're meeting, but also when we just get to have a conversation, you, us two, and we do our own research sometimes, we surprise each other with these things we didn't know and carry them around in our little brain pocket. It's a way to keep it fresh and exciting. Yes, and today our fresh and exciting topic is, drum roll please, Strange Laws. Wow. Yeah. You just outed yourself. Why? Because you don't have a drum roll sound on this, and Sheila E. warned you. I know. Well. I can't believe it. We're like almost a whole season later. I'm going to add it, but I'll also add it in post, and nobody will even know. No. <laughs> <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. We never lie to you guys. But anyway, we figured, you know, it's one of those years. Well, it's always important to make sure you're registered to vote and always. vote because your voice matters. But, you know, it's a year that that's been, you know, around a lot. And sometimes in the world of politics, we have to talk about stuff that's not so fun or interesting. But... Here in space, we can talk about fun and interesting things that have to do with these laws. And today, we're talking about strange ones from all over the world. (laughs) Yeah. I love doing anything with you, especially learning new things. And I can say Mm -hmm. that I have a couple of strange laws that I've prepared right here in our own backyard of the U.S. of A. (laughs) (laughs) Some weird laws that make you go, huh. Some of them make a lot of sense. Some of them are like, well, I can't imagine the event that made that come into place yeah i'm excited to find out okay do you have some for me i do go ahead take it away all right i'm gonna start us off i'll start off with something light some of these tickle my fancy and i hope they'll tickle yours as well way to age yourself man (laughs) to age myself age way to speak (laughs) (laughs) uh what is it i remember you okay let's start off with (laughs) Okay, go, go, go. Let's start off with some state laws. All okay. right. So in the state of Georgia, mm. chickens are not allowed to cross the road. Section 8.1 of Georgia law has ruled against domestic fowl running at large. At large? So. What? No chickens crossing the road in Georgia. What are they, what are they going to do? Ticket the chicken? I'm sorry? Like what if it's a free range chicken? I think like that's, we live in Miami, that's you know, there are saying, roosters like, everywhere. I'm the, that's not Hialeah, you know. Like, what, what do they have? Like social security numbers? <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, red yeah. pollito, one, two, four. Well, now we know Find. the real answer to the road. why did the chicken cross the road? To break the Georgia law? Yeah. Right. I'm glad you know. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, your turn. <laughs> uh, in Arizona, uh-huh. it is illegal for a donkey to sleep in a bathtub. Okay. Can <laughs> the they law sleep was in the <laughs> bedroom? <laughs> well, the, the law was enacted because there was literally a donkey sleeping outside in a bathtub that got washed away in a flood, and they had to use a lot of tax funds to expel a great rescue effort to Aww. rescue this donkey in a bathtub. But they rescued it, right? I believe so. Oh, they better have. <laughs> Don't Aww, quote me on that. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, this one I really enjoy. Okay. Because you know how much you and I love to just break out into the star spangled banner aka the national Which anthem is always okay weird why do we do that i don't know but it's always if we were to ever oh, say. <laughs> <laughs> okay 
Right now, if you were in Massachusetts, you just would have broken the law. Really? Yes, because in Massachusetts, if you sing or play the Star Spangled Banner on an instrument in any public space, other than as a whole and separate composition, you will be fined. <gasps> so you have to play the entire thing or you <sighs> can be fined. So That's you, you just broke the law. Well, Thank God not we're not in Massachusetts. Out in outer space. I kind of want to go around and like... Do these? <laughs> these? <laughs> like stand on right Mass Ave and be like, oh, say can. They <laughs> 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 book us right there. Oh my god! All right, your turn. Okay, I love that. Yeah, okay, okay, this one actually, I I kind of like. You'll understand. In Oklahoma, it's illegal to make faces at dogs. Mm. You know, so you can't bother the dog. What, I think it was you're specifically making, like a kissy face, like. No, you can't. <laughs> I think they, they they really made it so that like to protect people from enticing dogs because you never know. So people don't know how to raise their children, let alone their dogs. Ooh, burn. Uh, <laughs> um, but also for service dogs, so that they're not like disrupt disrupted in their in the middle of their work. That's the thing. It's like cool. I, 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 some of these, I, you know, as strange as they are, maybe it makes sense because it's true. Like you also never want to get in a dog's face. Right. It should be know, like make a face at a dog with their owner's consent. Uh, or the do- the, yeah, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> this one is fun. Oh, so in New Mexico, okay, okay, you can wear a sombrero, like a Mexican sombrero. Okay, but you can't dance while you have it on. What? It is reportedly legal to dance in a sombrero in New Mexico, according to a report published by Tucker Yoder and Associates. <laughs> <laughs> what the There's heck? Nothing illegal about wearing a sombrero, but start dancing in it and you're breaking the law. Okay, that's. Uh, that, has to, that can't be real. It Whatever. Is. Whatever. These are real. Which are <laughs> okay, similarly, in Florida, and I actually had known this before, it's oh, illegal boy. to sing in public in your bathing suit. Well, cuff me then. <laughs> 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 when have you sang in public in your bathing suit? On the beach? You've sang on the beach in a bathing suit? You haven't been like sitting there lounging and singing along with the singing along with something? No. Or does it have to be like a ticketed event? Like I'm come sure it has to be like you suit. singing. Not maybe not like humming along to a tune you're listening to. I'm pretty sure what I was wearing when I played Gay Pride would be considered as a bathing suit. Were you on the beach technically? I mean, it was a bathing suit top and pants. Anyway, that's very interesting. I don't know why. I think uh, part of a series of regulations aimed at maintaining public decorum on beaches. Ah. Which, lol, don't go to Miami Beach <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> if you're worried about public decorum. P.S. <laughs> Stay away from Miami Beach. <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay. Speaking of uh, interesting kind of things like that, this has nothing to do with uh, bathing suits, but I couldn't think of a segue, so just pretend this makes sense. Great. In, in Oklahoma, Ooh. tattoos were banned until 2006. Wow. The state of Oklahoma banned tattooing in 1963 and lifted the ban in 2006 from Governor Brad Henry's signing of the Senate Bill 806. Okay. So does that mean that you can't have a tattoo in Oklahoma or you can't give a tattoo in Oklahoma? I would guess that it means that like the art of tattooing is, would is, be illegal. Okay. So like you can go to Oklahoma. Like we could go to Oklahoma. Oh, right, right. But we can't get yeah. a tattoo in but Oklahoma tattoo before either. 2006. Oh, whatever. That's okay. I mean, I've, I've never really aspired to get a tattoo in Oklahoma, but just wondering if I can. But if it wasn't allowed, maybe I would. No. <laughs> <laughs> what would it be? Okay. Oh, God, no. Oh, for Oklahoma? Just kidding. Anyway. Anyway, your turn. In California, mm-hmm. it's illegal to eat a frog that dies during a frog jumping contest. That makes total sense to me. How? They should just extend it to all frogs. What? Okay, but the reason why it exists is to protect the winners of their annual frog jumping contest. Oh, no. See, I, that's, <laughs> that's not where my, my brain went. Like, well, what if like the winners of the frog contest are like the Beyonce of frogs? And like the whole frog community would probably be like devastated if you if they if they ate Beyonce. Frog Beyonce. Frog Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll say yeah. We'll say yeah. On that I agree. I agree. Ah, in Alaska, uh-huh. it's illegal to to wake a sleeping bear just for a photograph. 
Which, like, why would you um, want to wake a sleeping bear? You know what? If you wake a sleeping bear, you deserve what you're getting. And I, I think the least problem would be getting arrested. How about surviving? Or a fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But that just, again, it begs the question, like, what was the occurrence that required the law to be put in place? Mauling. Like, who was out there? Mauling, and mass thought, murder. Let me, <laughs> <laughs> let me poke this bear for a selfie. Because then I'll get a really good one. Yeah. I want to meet that person. That dude probably survived because you know it was a dude. <laughs> <laughs> and he would, and then they're like, we need to make this a law to make an example out your ass. <laughs> Lord. I love that. All right. Um, in Nebraska, mm. you cannot get married if you have an STD. <laughs> what? Yes. American. That's personal. <laughs> right? Aren't there like HIPAA laws against that? I, I don't know. I, I, a marriage qualification code in the Nebraska state legislature... Bro- like bro- legally married? <laughs> ...prohibits residents with sexually transmitted diseases from marrying in the Cornhusker That's state. That's really screwed up and homophobic. Also, like, by the time you're getting married, I, I in the time that we're in, I would venture to guess that you would have been intimate by that point. When was that law enacted? I just have a feeling it's around AIDS. I'm not sure. Oh... Well, uh, no, yeah, but, well. Because that's what I'm getting from that. Like, why would they care? Because, like, I'm pretty sure we I'm were, sure. like, about 200 years ago, we were all giving each other syphilis and shit. How was that? You were there. Great. No? I survived it. You were saying it like you were there. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, 250 years ago when I was strutting in. Okay. <laughs> in anyway. my petticoat. <laughs> See, that's one of the ones that I'm going to want to look up now. I want to go home and I'm going to be like, all right, what is the deal with this weird yeah. law? Be like two in the morning. Like, <laughs> Babe, come over here. <laughs> Reading the Nebraska law book. <laughs> I found a loophole. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, do you want to like leave the, and talk about maybe some places, some other places around the Ooh, world and there? Okay. Strange laws. I love that. Because it's, you know, they're all over the world. We have strange laws. Yes. <laughs> why do we speak like this now, Brunilda? I don't know. We're, we're traveling around um, the world now, so who knows okay. what places we're going to encounter. Sure, let's, let's go around the world. Okay. I never watched Around the World in 80 Days. Just putting that out there. Is it good? Is it worth it? I don't remember. That's a, that's, that was the movie. I think it was the guy that got on the hot air balloon or something like this. Anyway, I moving on. Know. All right, so. <laughs> All right, you start us off. Okay, in Switzerland, mm-hmm. and I love this one, it is illegal to own just one guinea pig. Aww. They're considered to be companion animals, so you have to have at least two. I love that. I know. That's really cute. Go Switzerland. Yeah. So cute. And what do they do? Like, they send, like, a... Uh, maybe they won't sell you one. Like or maybe uh, you have to prove you have one before they sell you the second. Or or the first. Yeah, the second. I don't know. I just or picture, you have to buy like, them twos. like, little animal, you know, officers coming over to, to verify that there's two welfare like, checks. Like the hamster and the... the glass case beside the guinea pig at the pet store or like a person i don't know okay person in a hamster suit okay (laughs) uh in milan italy it is illegal not to smile among many old laws which for some reason are not yet repealed there is a happy law (laughs) still in force today in milan to be more specific it's not actually a law but a local regulation from astro-hungarian time which requires every milanese citizen to smile it is unclear if it also applies to people visiting the capital. However, everyone is free to comply with the local requirement. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, isn't that cool? That's pretty cool. Smile in line. I mean, yeah, I don't want to be forced to smile, but I like that they encourage smiling. <laughs> that's where lo- that's where that law came from. <laughs> like what misogynist law? telling women to smile. They're oh, like, let's bruh. make it a law. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Why do men say that sometimes? I'm also la ley. And those like a bambina. Smile, like mm. it, while we're throwing things out there, suck my oh. ass. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just mm. you know, just figure it. I I join in. Okay. Okay. In Samoa, it is illegal to forget your wife's birthday. <laughs> What's my birthday? Um, August. Uh-huh. Just checking. Nine. Just checking. <laughs> what you think? Just I forgot checking. your your birthday. Who Tarnoga. knows? Just making sure. You I mean, I, it'd birthday? be very crazy. Not if I'm like. It. Mm. <laughs> Make up a month after the stink that I formed this year. This year, <laughs> every year, I'm a Leo. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what time was I born? Do you know that? I want to say w- that's crazy. What time was Arrester. I born? What time was I born? You were born at 
3 nope, p.m wrong you were born at like 12 ish it was like a 12 something yeah <laughs> ha 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 <laughs> damn was, you have photographic it memory. was not 3 p.m it was it was 4 p.m it wasn't 5 p.m okay stop but, and it wasn't it was in the morning i was it wasn't you. it was at night you lost 11 p.m that's enough oh, it's almost the next day i'm gonna just move on and i'm gonna take the next one too <laughs> in japan now this one's a little wild this one's a little wild. They have a lot of mixed feelings about this one. Mostly like invasion of privacy. Ooh. But in Japan, it is illegal in certain regions to be overweight. The metabo law, which I assume is metabolism related, <laughs> requires individuals over 40 to have their waistlines measured annually Ooh. with penalties for exceeding a set circumference aided at curbing obesity. That's some black mirror shit. It's weird, right? That's really weird. And like, who performs these tests? Like your physician? And like, what happens and like, well, if I don't you go don't to the pass, doctor they year? go and like throw all your cornflakes? Like, No, you have, you're fined. Oh my God, that's wild. They literally wild. give you a fine. They're like, oh, you're... Also, like, what about your bone structure? Like, how do they calculate this? Oh, what if you have a no, condition? There are people who are bigger or what bone. if you just prefer to look, you know, heavier? Like, I don't understand. Yeah, it's so not good. Anyway, <sighs> so many ways to curb obesity other than that. Okay. Oh, this is this is one that I felt like what makes sense. Okay. Kind of like this is one of the ones that I guess it is strange in the sense that I haven't really thought about it before. Okay. But this is one that I don't oppose at all. Uh, in Bulgaria, you can't drive without a fire extinguisher in your car. Okay. Like, you know how many accidents happen and there's a fire and like... Th- there's not enough time and you can- and you have to wait for like i mean i think that aren't fire extinguishers flammable like couldn't they Make contribute to the combustion yeah i mean if the fire's that I'm bad pretty i think sure you already they did they are i mean i'm not against that but just like you know i since i had to learn about fire extinguishers le- recently i learned that they expire they right, have so to get like they, they have to be like up to date no, no, no i'm not against it i'm just <laughs> curious as to why but uh sure i guess in maybe case there's a fire maybe in your it's car a specific fire extinguisher because you know there are different kinds i only know about the red one no like there are different co- ways like different ma- materials that are in different fire extinguishers oh. like for chemical fires oh, for I didn't know that. gas fires yeah that makes sense for things like that I thought all fire extinguishers were like universal. No. Let us know or things if you want to do an entire episode of fire extinguishers. (laughs) Sorry, moving on. (laughs) It'll be a going to sleep episode. (laughs) No. Okay, well, never mind. I was kind of excited about that and then you just poo pooed on it, but it's okay. I liked, I liked the, I love that you are an advocate for safety. There you go. Let me say that. I love that you're an advocate for safety. I just feel like, you know, you have to keep fire extinguishers up to date and they have, don't they have to have like some kind of certification? Or yeah, like, they do. Yeah, like that's annoying. Don't give me another job. God. Okay. I hardly want to do the stuff I already have to do. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to have a fire extinguisher in my car. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, whatever. But hey, if, if it makes things safer, sure. give me a good argument for it and I'll consider it. All right. I'll, in my I'll, I'll do some law. research while you're researching the other one. Okay. <laughs> In China, it's illegal to reincarnate without government permission. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who knows? <laughs> Tibetan Buddhist monks are required to get permission from the Chinese government before reincarnating. Sweet. So, like, what? I mean, like, that's so funny. <laughs> no, like, they go in there, like, like shopping, and they get to pick who they also, come back Also, like, a, at what point do you, do you make that, that call, you know? What yeah, I mean? what if they say no? Also, who would willingly reincarnate? No offense. Full offense. Who well, would be like, depends. can't wait to do this again? I'd reincarnate as like a dog in my parents' house. I don't think that, they live I don't life. think that uh, Buddhist monks believe that you can, re- maybe they, I don't know. I don't know enough about Buddhism, but maybe they do believe you can reincarnate as it's like another species. It's really fascinating. But like that, like that song that Willow wrote with uh, Janavi Harrison. Oh like, yeah. I won't, I, I don't want to come back. I, don't, I won't go around again. Damn. Or I can't go around again. I can't remember, but I, you know, like maybe another planet. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. So far, like I'm good with one. Okay. Um, how about this one? In England, a boy is not allowed to see a naked mannequin until after the age of ten. Um, I'm not against that. I'm not against that either. I'm just but like, where are these like, naked mannequins? Why do we sexualize the nude human body? You know oh, what I mean? Sure. Like. We're the only species on the planet that wears clothes. And like we, we, we taught ourselves to feel shame. All these other animals are out here like 
picking fleas out of their butt and they're totally cool like alula alula stays eating nova's butt i know it's so gross she's clean she's in her dog brain she's cleaning her you know it's an act of love i'm sure a lack of love and care yeah but here we are like ashamed of our human bodies which is a little weird so i am pro not sexualizing human bodies i don't think i'm pro like if a Maybe we need some less sexual it's, it's mannequins. It's only boys? That's what I was about to say. That's what about weird. girls looking at the, those weird boy mannequins with the bulge? <laughs> they don't even have what they're supposed to have. That would be so weird. Man- mannequins with like... Normalized genitals. human bodies. Normalized naked oh, human guess. bodies. Yeah. There are other cultures that don't sexualize them. Yeah. Nudity is way more... Uh, yeah. Um, it's way more normalized. Yeah. And less of a problem because of that. Right, exactly. It's so funny when you start to limit people how they like to rebel. All right, your turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what laws do you have about naked mannequins? Um, no. <laughs> I don't have one about a naked mannequin. But I do know that in Thailand, it's illegal to step on money. Since the king is on their banknotes, they see it as like disrespecting oh. the king. So you can't step on a dollar, I guess, on their, their banknote. That makes sense. Yeah, I guess. There are like rules like that about our flag and well, stuff, right? Who is knowingly stepping on a dollar also? Like I mean, who pro- what, sees a dollar a wind, and doesn't pick it wind, up? Or, if there's wind and you want to stop it to pick it up. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> you, are, you are under arrest. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, well. What about this one? <laughs> um, in the UK, all Ooh. right. It's illegal to handle a salmon in suspicious circumstances. Under the Salmon Act of 1986, this law was intended to prevent illegal fish poaching and sales, though its wording is noticeably fake. (laughs) What? So you just can't hold the salmon? See, like, on the wording for me, I'm thinking, like, somebody's robbing a bank and they're, like, holding a salmon under there. That's what I thought, too, under suspicious circumstances. Yeah. Right. Yeah, <laughs> rob your bank holding the salmon. No you could rob a bank, but you can't hold the salmon. No suspiciousness with salmon. Okay, in Denmark, uh-huh. it's illegal to start your car without checking for children underneath. Oh, which is dark, real dark. That's real dark, but I mean safety first. Yeah, I, I guess. Why do they have to make it a law? Hey, when we were traveling uh, this summer, uh, where were we? Was it Edinburgh? Edinburgh. That uh, you're. It's like a rule, and they have signs everywhere that. You can't be sitting in your car with your car running, like oh, for, I like for that. emissions. I think you that know? might be like a either a UK or Scotland wide thing. It's cool though. Yeah, it's really cool. Makes sense. That yeah. one makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that's not a strange one. That's a smart one. Yeah. All right. How about this? In Canada, it's illegal to pretend to practice witchcraft. To pretend to practice witchcraft. Okay, so <laughs> does that mean that if you effectively practice witchcraft that you can do it? Like, what if I'm a real witch? The Canadian Criminal Code prohibits fraudulent witchcraft, fortune-telling, and pretending to practice the occult, aimed at preventing scams. So that makes more sense. But how do they verify that? If, and also, like, do, are they just deeming that all witchcraft is fraudulent? Because they could be saying that. No, because then I think it wouldn't say pretend to practice witchcraft. So you can't pretend to be a witch, but you could be a real witch? Yeah. Down. <laughs> i guess we back gotta go to, to canada Scot- and find out yeah we have to go to back to canada okay but back to scotland if someone and, and we learned this when we were in scotland oh if someone knocks on your door and requires the use of your toilet you must let them in yes which like lol we also learned this one we didn't fa- fact check but a scottish man told us so it must be real yeah uh the freedom to roam law that which was is so, so interesting yeah they just i think that the scottish people first of all are like very hospitable and also they recognize the human beings human beings right to enjoy any natural occurrence or not occurrence that wouldn't be the right way to say that um like uh la- land not just land basically they believe that we all have the right to access nature Right. So if you have like a farm or a certain plot of land that has maybe like a creek running through it or whatever, everyone, I don't think they can be in your buildings. And right. I don't understand, you know, I don't know how many people can do it. I don't yeah. know if they can convene there, but like you technically have the right to walk through there or you have to visit the to creek. Rome. Yeah. You, also, he was, he, I think one something that he said too is like, if you're trying to reach a destination and you have to cross through somebody's land or somebody's property like you have the right to roam and you know like walk yeah. and a lot of people walk there for long a distances lot. yeah and there's really barely any crime so i'm sure that they're not thinking the kind that of dark unsafe. stuff that I'm well thinking. beyond any crime 
driving through scotland was just like one of the most gorgeous experiences i think i've ever had in my life yeah and you're just seeing like paisaje after paisaje after paisaje and i was overwhelmed and i was driving and i remember i told you i'm like em look it up like i need to know what are the large predators in scotland <laughs> yeah and there are none no like for thousands of years they've either they're gone extinct or been poached killed a long off. time yeah. ago or they never made it there the biggest uh threat animal threat to humans are like deer ticks and yeah. biting midges so like in certain insects they have like one venomous snake i forgot what it's called oh yeah but it's like and it, they were just they described rare, the, and it wouldn't the snake to be really. timid yeah yeah know, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> timid you know it's like a timid snake it's not like you know looking to bite you I mean, australia however is trying to kill you from the moment <laughs> you get there yeah i'm a big i freaking love scotland all right my turn or your turn mm -hmm. okay let's see oh this one I, I had read about before in germany it's illegal to run out of fuel on the autobahn which makes sense yeah well because it's the, obviously those are really 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 high speeds yes and i'm sure like imagine the kind of danger or distraction it could cost if you're like stuck Stull, in one of the lanes yeah. and someone's going like 120 miles an hour yeah, yeah also like it's totally preventable also they don't play around this is considered preventable yeah. they're like scolding you they're like you didn't put gas in your car that's your problem and it's viewed <laughs> as negligence endangering other drivers due to high speeds on these highways honestly i respect that yeah same mm -hmm. that's a good one that one makes a lot of sense yeah that one makes a lot of sense okay in malaysia mm -hmm. as of 2011 and don't like this one. Oh no. The Malaysia as of 2011, it's illegal to wear yellow clothing. Oh. So they did this in, pr in response to protests mm. where the opposition's color was yellow and people would wear yellow. And to curb that, they just made it illegal to wear yellow. Wow. Which like, okay, well, <laughs> just change the color. Yeah, right. What are you going to make every color illegal? But yeah. Yeah. That's weird. That sucks. Strange law. That's a bad law. That's a bad one. Okay, do you have any more? Yeah, I have one more. Oh, okay, perfect. And then we're going to play a fun little game. Oh, boy. Yes. Okay, in the Philippines, it's illegal to wear a superhero costume on Halloween. Why? This was introduced to maintain order and prevent people from impersonating figures of authority. Whoa. So I don't know if they... Th which is also a little ridiculous, because, like, who's wearing a superhero costume on Halloween? It's okay, probably so a child. Okay, so what about all the other days that are Halloween? Ooh, loophole. loophole. <laughs> we'll be out here. <laughs> I like that. Finding the loopholes. You just walk around as Batman in like <laughs> July. <laughs> October 29th, October 30th. December. November 1st. Yeah. November 2nd. November 3rd. <laughs> I love it. That's a cool one. Yeah. All right. Well, so those are some of the ones that you can see. Uh, we, have, we have a very colorful world that we live in and a lot of people who were probably drunk when they wrote some of these because <laughs> yeah and <laughs> or i, I guess sign them in because <laughs> but a, a lot of them are also as we mentioned like a lot older it's and outdated, for some and not enforced out, outdated but uh, you know other than the one of the tattoo one that got lifted you know they just don't generally go and take them out of the actual law because they figure that you know they're obviously not out there arresting people right. for most of these yeah but it is funny to you know comment all right so with no further ado it is time to play it's kind of like two truths and a lie but for the purposes of being cute two truths and a law <laughs> i like that no, well i have my own questions prepared for this game yeah that's the whole point because if not we'd be cheating and we don't do that in outer space yeah and space news is real and i'm gonna keep saying it okay all right so you want to describe how we're gonna do this babe okay i think that uh we'll take turns uh -huh. just as we have been yeah and we'll say the three laws uh -huh. and take turns guessing whether it's true or not yes or I which one is the one that's the lie right exactly so you're gonna you guys out there earthlings are gonna hear three um laws and out of a, one of them is false so but we have the opportunity to guess as we read each one in that set so they're going to come in sets of three okay okay i have my paddle ready Ooh. okay so i'm going to ask you first okay Ooh. all right here we go in italy men are not allowed to wear skirts in public it could lead to arrest huh. it is illegal to mansplain after 3 p.m <laughs> In Nevada, there's a law that prohibits men with mustaches from kissing women. Um, it's illegal to mansplain after 3 p.m. Yes, that is the lie. Although I nominate it. 
to be put into law immediately. You win. Yay. The first one you got. <laughs> okay. I mean, that one was kind of obvious. Okay. In Switzerland, it is illegal to flush the toilet after 10 p.m. in apartment buildings. I feel like that could be true. These are my initial guesses, but okay. I'm not locking in yet. In Greece, it is illegal to wear high heels at ancient sites. That's just trying to save your ankle, your ankles. <laughs> and in Japan, it is illegal to eat rice while standing up. That, that's got to <laughs> be false. In Japan? I feel like you shouldn't be allowed to look at me. I feel like I'm giving it away yeah, as but I'm like, reading it. Japan? <laughs> like, yeah, false. You're right. You're right. I don't know because, you know, that it could that was a good fake one because, you know, they have like different things over there that are a little more strict, but right. Okay, okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay. You're right. You got me. Okay, my turn again. Here we go. Thailand prohibits individuals from leaving their homes without wearing underwear. It is illegal to wear hats on your toes in Italy. In Victoria, Australia, women are prohibited from wearing hot pink pants after midday on Sundays. The hats on the toes? That's when you think it's false? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Oh, God, you made me second guess there for a second. Plus, why would you deprave people of being able to see toes with hats on them? <laughs> Good, but, point. But Good point. But that means that in Thailand, you can't leave your house without wearing underwear, so no free balling over there. Yeah, again, how do they enforce that? Anyway. The, the cops come and they go, please hold. And they pull open your pants like that. Horrible. <laughs> Horrible. Okay, don't look at me. Looks at her. In Florida, <laughs> uh-huh. unmarried women who parachute on Sundays can be fined. Okay, I, I, it sounds false, but that means it's probably true, but let's keep going. Okay. In Alaska, it is illegal to whisper in someone's ear while they are moose hunting. Okay, that seems true. In Georgia, it is illegal to carry an ice cream cone in your back pocket. Damn, I know that one's true because I've heard it before, but I said the other two were true. Read the first one again. In Florida, unmarried women who parachute on Sundays can be fined. And the second one? In Alaska, it is illegal to whisper in someone's ear while they are moose hunting. That one's false, but it's very creative. <laughs> You're right! Thank this you. Is, what? Oh, See? because the I should be parachute a lawyer. on Sundays isn't creative? I should be a lawyer. Just call me Kim K. No. How, how's that? I will not call you Kim K. <laughs> what? Call me M. Lay. Oh, okay. Gosh. Okay. Your turn. You ready? <sighs> yeah. In Sterling, Colorado, it's illegal for dogs to gather in groups of three or more on private property without a permit signed by the mayor. Okay. Okay. False. In Kentucky, it is illegal to force an animal to harmonize with you unless they initiate it. <laughs> that one should be true, but it's false. <laughs> There's only one false one, and you thought the first one was false. Okay, next one. In Oklahoma, it's against the law to make ugly faces at dogs, and doing so could result in a fine or jail time. I know that one's real. Okay, so which so, one is it? Can they not gather in groups without permit from the mayor, or can you not harmonize with them without them initiating it? Okay, well, I can't believe that the first one is true. Let me just say that. <laughs> but it's the second one that's false. Yeah. <laughs> Harmonizing? You definitely wrote that. <laughs> uh, wah, wah. I love that. We're two for two. Okay. Yeah. We're I pretty guess... good at this. And we clearly know each other very well. Yeah. But I wonder if out there, who, who, those of you that are listening are making the same guesses as, I'm sure they as are. we go. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. Okay. My turn. <laughs> okay. First one. In North Carolina, it is illegal to sing off key. Oh, I mean, wow. I feel like it's probably false, but let's see. I need more info. Okay. In Ohio, it is illegal to hunt whales on Sundays. That, I feel like, is true. And also, we've learned a lot about laws on Sundays. So, I feel like that's a trend. Okay. In California, it is illegal to eat a frog that has been killed by a car. What is it with these eating frogs that do things? <laughs> eat a frog that's killed by a car. But if it's killed by a bike, go ahead. Um... <laughs> I'm going to say that the off-key one is the false one. It is. Yeah. We're eating this. Oh, God. We're but eating, not the frogs. Eat, nope. But not the frogs. Not No frogs in contests. No model frogs. No frogs hit by cars. No frogs crossing the road. Well, luckily, we're not eating frogs. But if you're a fan of eating frogs, be aware of these <laughs> Don't <places>. go to <laughs> California. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm trying to. I wish that I could throw you off for one, but. Same, I'm trying. We just know each other too well. In Gainesville, Georgia, it is illegal to eat fried chicken with anything other than your hands. 
In Wisconsin, it's illegal for restaurants to serve apple pie without cheese on top. What? In certain Caribbean places, it is illegal to put raisins in your picadillo. Wait, there is no way one and two are real. You said what about where, Georgia? You have to eat it chicken? It is illegal to eat fried chicken with anything other than your hands. Where? In Gainesville, Georgia. No. And the second one? Second one is... In Wisconsin, it's illegal for restaurants to serve apple pie without cheese on top. That is crazy. And the third one can't be real. I don't know. The third one says that in certain Latin places, it's illegal to serve picadillo with with, with pasas with in pasas, it. With pasas, with raisins. It should be. I'll be honest. But I don't think it's the case. That has to be the fake one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but wow, you almost got me there because that's crazy. That's so one, you right? can't have... You can't have apple pie in Wisconsin without cheese on yeah, it? Yeah, also, ugh. Yeah, ugh. And I like that. Oh, my God. And, I, and let me tell you, I tried some mac and cheese ice cream the other day, and it was not it, sis. It was not good. Yeah, I don't know why you would do that. That's some Willy Wonka. Being Wong adventurous, good. being adventurous, growing, learning, eating cheese ice cream. Okay. So well, many things will happen here well in space. hope it went well for you. Okay. Seriously. <laughs> okay, I have a couple more. What about you? I do, too. Okay. In Denmark, uh-huh. it is illegal to start your car engine while someone is underneath it. Well, I feel like... You, okay, yeah. I feel like that's true because you kind of said the baby one. Mm-hmm. So if you're checking for babies, might as well just check if there's somebody else. Down okay. There. In Canada, uh-huh. it is illegal to wear a disguise in public. <laughs> okay. In France, it is illegal to take a selfie with a statue. What was the second one? Illegal to wear a disguise in public. I'm going to say false for that one. You freaking... I finally you missed one. You finally missed one. Oh my God, what was it? It was Damn. in France. It's illegal to take a selfie with a statue. That okay, is everybody be false. left and right taken. Exactly. You said that the one about uh, wearing a disguise in public is false. Oh no. Yeah. Damn, I'm down bad. I lost my only point on such a silly one. <laughs> okay, maybe I can still knock you off. Let's, Let's try. All right. In Ohio, mm-hmm. it's illegal to get a fish drunk. True. In Louisiana, if you have a pet snail, you must name it Gary. Should be true, but it's probably false. I don't know. <laughs> Again in Ohio, it's against the law for dogs to bark excessively. That seems true. I feel like there are laws against that. For like public disruption. Ugh, I'm never going to knock you off the top now. Which one do you think is Gary. Yeah, damn it. Ha ha ha. You know, Cutsdale in Louisiana must be named Gary. You're no match for me, man. <sighs> All right, go ahead with your last one. Pumpkin. In Thailand, it is illegal to step on currency. See, I'm testing yeah, I'm no, making you're, sure, you're making sure you're I was listening paying throughout attention the episode. when I was talking. Exactly. Oh, that's brilliant. Yep. Okay, so, well. And also, you feel bad for me, so you're giving I me... I am you're giving so, me like, so sad. You're losing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> In Australia, it is illegal to capture, injure, or kill homing pigeons. Huh. Side note, human beings domesticated pigeons as a way to message each other, and then we just literally abandoned them. That's but anyway, so messed up. In Germany, it is illegal to paint your house the color of a watermelon. The, the color of a watermelon? Like the pattern? I don't know. It's not my law. Okay. I need to know more about that one. Okay. <laughs> I think the fake one. What's the first one again? It's illegal to step on currency. In okay. Thailand. No. That one, that one I know is true. Uh-huh. What's the second one? It's illegal to capture, injure, or kill homing pigeons. Okay, that I feel like is true. I feel like the watermelon's fault. <laughs> the watermelon's Yay. fault. That was easy. All right, for the last question oh, you of this have round. One? Yeah, okay, okay, maybe I'm this is done. my last, th- yeah, but this is my last chance. chance. All right, take and it. You, you need it, you need it, you need it. Okay, baby. let's see. In New York City, it's illegal to shake a dust mop out of a window. These are all in New York. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. While riding in an elevator in New York City, one must talk to no one and fold their hands while looking towards the door. False. In New York City, two masculine lesbians cannot date. You can be fined $50,000 and pick up the charge of mask on mask crime. What? <laughs> Alternatively, femme on femme crimes, the government can reimburse you for for up to $10,000 and a credit on OnlyFans. Number three should. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. be, you know, wow, to, that's really good. You know, I had to end that's a really good. Joke. I can't believe the elevator one. I know. Is that real? You really have to like. I'm up here breaking laws in New York then, because you know I'm tough with it in the elevator. You're you're terrorizing elevator riders. Actually, that's what you're doing. Yeah. Emily will literally start talking to them and be like, "Hey, so the weather did it," and stop talking. <laughs> no, be like, "Hey, um, so." And then we'll just be there in this awkward silence in the elevator. It's, it's not awful. like I'm. It's not like I'm passing gas or anything. I'm just gonna confuse you. It's really bad though. Well, I actually, for the first time on this show, I'm going to admit that I won. <laughs> so as hard as you tried, <laughs> the way Jem just leaned in, and then I was like, I know exactly what you're gonna do. <laughs> you no, scoundrel. I thought you were really gonna give it to me this time. No, How many times I will, have I, I won? Will. And you, claimed. I'll give it. To, he'll give it to you. You tried really hard, but you couldn't defeat me. <laughs> You're so annoying. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, my God. No, you did. You got me. You know what? Well, by one point. Baby, you can convince yourself of whatever you want. I lost the one point I on purpose. I sleep really good at night knowing that I am a consistent winner for all the games that we play. You can keep telling yourself that. Actually. Luckily, we are recording, so there's proof. Right. That I won. That I won. That I am the one true winner. That I, comma, If you read Gemini, between the lines, comma, you realize that winner. I'm doing it to be nice to you because you're so pretty. Oh, really? Yeah. And I told you but that But if you Germany, really look at me, you could see that I'm like, you know, like when you watch back videos, I'm like, oh, I don't know what it is. Then you'll be like, oh, she's just joking around. Right. right you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, right, Because right. I didn't give you like an obvious one in the watermelon color of the German houses. Right? I don't know, man. I'm telling you, we've been talking about some really strange laws. So at this point, now I'm all confused. You almost you know, got me there. You really did. Yeah, but um, even though you did win one to zero, <gasps> I know I said it. Okay, oh, no. let's blur that out. No, I'm kidding. Because <laughs> you did, I'll give it to you this time. But revenge is sweet, and I will get you back. And the games will be harder, and they will be intense, and I will beat you in a way that you will never be able to recover from, and you will cry tears of pain. <laughs> it's really dark. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Well, you're a good sport. <laughs> but you know where you don't want to cry tears of pain? Um, where? When it's time for everybody's favorite <laughs> oh Outer Network out in the entire world. Space News! What's going on in space today? What's going on in space? Because we're talking about um, strange laws, we figured that today's installment of Space News would involve laws that pertain to outer Ooh. space. Yes, I, I know. Go Super off, exciting, baby. right? Yeah. See, right. you're a winner in my heart. Oh, thank you. You're and welcome. in real life, because I won. Anyway, <laughs> all right, ladies, germs, dermats, dermones, and earthworms, and that's what I say. Welcome to Space <laughs> News. Without further ado, the Outer Space Treaty prohibits any nation from claiming sovereignty over any celestial bodies like the moon, planets, and other things like that. No country can technically own any part of space, including colonizing the moon. Mm. Good news for the U.S. that the moon landing was fake, or else we would be in some serious trouble when we put that flag on it. Wow. Stan, call me Stanley Kubrick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up. There are no military bases or weapons of mass destruction permitted in orbit and beyond. That Ooh. means the moon and other planets or anything like that. Who regulates this? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, NASA, sorry. Na NASA Law mm. Center for NASA Center Law. <laughs> Na the NASA d uh, Division right, of Law right, right, right. and the Universe dot org. <laughs> All right. Anyway, back to this. <laughs> no weapons of mass destruction are permitted in orbit or on any planets or anything like that. So there is no war going to be happening up in space. All right. Which is so good scary. news. I know. However, it looks like somebody is going to need to call Elon Musk and make sure he knows this as I think it might derail his plan to stick all the angry rich people on Mars. And I originally sent a treaty to the NASA Law Associates um, dot com. And we can go back <laughs> to my original proposition of sending uh, only women and dogs to mars okay we can take sperm we don't you know we don't need anything else <laughs> all right <laughs> lastly up for space news law edition there is no crying allowed in space the lack of gravity in space what? means tears cannot flow down the face instead they form tiny little balls that can float away quickly and interfere with sensitive equipment 
Unfortunately, this means that neither Kim Kardashian or any of the men from Maury will ever be able to visit space. <laughs> um, the president of NASA has responded with a statement claiming if Kim loses another diamond in space, she could take down the entire International Space Station in a matter of minutes. Wow. And this has been Space, space News. News. Impeccably done, babe. I, I didn't do anything. Those. I just looked into the NASA law regulated book law dot net. <laughs> Yeah. That's the official sp- space law. Have you seen um, uh, Na- NASA regulations universally, all of us together for space, one and for all, dot um, gov? Oh, That's a yeah. really good one. Yeah, yeah. It's the link under it. I've seen that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> how fun. I learned a lot today, babe. <laughs> yeah, you know, me too. You always find really interesting ones, and I just find ones, you find that, good ones. that traumatize our, <laughs> our listeners down on Earth. <laughs> hey, they need it. They need variety. Yeah, yeah. We're here to provide both. And we're here to provide one more thing to them before we leave, which I thought would be a cute way to sign off. Okay. We talked about strange laws, and I had a question for us both, okay. which was, if you could pick one law that you could sign in today. Oof, one? Like, that you create. Like, one that you think should seriously be a law. Okay, the, uh, you go first, because I can think of, like, 50. You can only pick one. Uh, I don't know. You go first. Um, mine would be no misogyny between the hours of all 24 in one day. <laughs> did you really write that down? I did. You're something else. Um, I've sent it into a bunch of emails. Well, I'll, I'll have you know when you put forth that motion, I will second it. Amazing. Um, but you I've, know what I think should actually be a law? Like for real, for real, for real, for real. Yeah. This is a pet peeve of mine. Okay. You've experienced it. Mm-hmm. I think that every business unless you have like a valid reason okay which then you know we can talk about how people would try this but i think that every business is should be required to keep their doors open until their closing hours yes you don't know how many times i have driven unrealistic distances and granted yes i understand i probably shouldn't be coming into the store in the last half hour but if i need to that is why the store is open till the hour that it's supposed to be open to okay or maybe and then i show up and the store is open till 10 and it's like 9.42 and they're like, sorry, we're closed. Like, no, you're not. Yeah. Ma- you're open. Maybe we need to reframe the way that we um, put hours and it'll be like, like, this is when we're leaving, but this is the last time we're serving you. <laughs> but then just put that as your hours. You yeah, understand? Yeah, that's like, so much smarter. Like, just put it as your hours. If you, <laughs> like, for restaurants, for example. Yeah. I don't understand that. Why does it say the restaurant is open for 11 till 11? They're like, oh, but the kitchen is closed. What so am I going to do there for that? So just put it until 1030. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. All right, I'll second that too. Right. If you stand, if you like the our law suggestions, Earthlings. Let us know. Let us know. Let us know. No, 958. Not even 959. Send us yours so we can send them along to the NASA equestrian uh, aquarium. I could run into CVS and go straight to the ice cream cabinet and grab my Ben and Jerry's in 30 seconds flat. You're not going to open the doors for me at 958. Yeah, you you heard her. Gosh. Yeah. A girl needs her ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> She's passionate about this. If you want to vote for our law suggestions, please send up. <laughs> send right in. <laughs> anyway, well, anyway, this well, was babe, really look. fun. <laughs> no, well, yeah. I was gonna say it's been really nice meeting you oh. once again, uh, as I do so well, so often, and it's great because uh, you make a great uh, second place winner. Oh my! And goodness. I love sharing the lower podium with mm. you. Um, as second place um, in, a, in a competition of only two places I might add uh, but great job good I've effort I've been scolded so politely <laughs> and I can't wait to do it again listen I will be coming for you <laughs> Hernandez <gasps> alright oh, I love you though even though you lost alright Earthlings <laughs> Thanks for flying with us, and we'll see you next week in our own world. Follow us at In Our Own World Pod and send us cute pictures of cats. (laughs) Because I was going to say something inappropriate. Bye!